One of the most special things about my job um, is really that there is a lot of variety. And, and in variety, I mean, um, you, you don't know from day to day, time to time, who you're going to be working with, what you're going to be doing. Um, and so while you come in with kind of that blueprint of what you're going to be doing, you, you really have to be flexible and, and be willing to change that. The district's going to each school and performing a safety audit. And so what that does is it really gives an opportunity for them to give us some feedback on our procedures. With you know the ultimate yeah. goal being, we want to make sure that in any kind of a crisis situation, we have the yeah, most efficient girls. ways to get our students to, to safety. And this morning we had a great opportunity to Skype with Heather Forbes and some members of a production company that she works with. They're gonna be coming and making some training videos based on trauma and so those will be used throughout the nation with teachers and, and parents. The benefit that we're really looking at is kids everywhere are going to have teachers that are a little more understanding about what are some good strategies to implement when you're dealing with kids that are in those traumatic situations and the best ways to reach them. The role of a principal involves a lot of coaching. We want everyone to be the best possible version of themselves and teachers really want that for themselves too. They want to make sure that they're doing a great job providing the proper supports for kids in the classroom. And then I get to look at how teachers are assessing students, how they are making sure that they're providing the supports necessary for students to be successful beyond just the assessment and making sure that we are continuing to look outside the classroom if necessary to see what students need. Today I'm going to have lunch with some fifth graders and so we're going to talk with them a little bit about bullying today and if they feel like that they're supported here at school and they're safe enough that they feel like they can report those kinds of things because the bottom line is if bullying is taking place we want to be able to help and support the kid. I think what people really don't weigh in is that emotional component that educators in general really take home with them. I cannot walk out of here without thinking about the student that had the meltdown today, the family that's going to need some additional support because their house was on fire, the, the teacher that's going through a rough time or taking care of her parents and, and still being able to come in here and do her job. That's really fulfilling to me because um, I get to be a part of some great conversations with teachers, with parents, with kids. I get to work with staff that you know have anywhere from 25 years of experience to I have been here for one quarter of school. Or the parent that comes in and says, thank you, thank you for making sure that my kids get that quality education. Thank you for working with us to make sure that we are supporting a school at home. Thank you for being part of our community and, and helping uh, Cosley to be such a lighthouse of our community. Those are the quality experiences that we have every day that we take with us and we bring back with us every day. I think that it's a lot of fun for me as a learner as well to be able to collaborate, to be able to communicate, to, to tap into creativity. And I think a lot of that comes because every day I get to do such a variety of things. And that's, that's an amazing experience.